Hey folks, how are you doing? Um, today we're going to uh, discuss when to use Chamulus and when to use maybe Chamkazam and when to use Sonobus. These are the three dominant online chamming platforms available at the moment uh, at the year 2021. Sonobus is fairly new um, and um, it works different from, from Chamulus. So uh, when do you use which software. So first of all, Chamulus is um, server-based. So your audio is being sent to a server, like everybody else's audio, and then you basically receive a stream back uh, from the server. So no matter how many people play in Chamulus, uh, you will always see the same kind of um, network saturation on your network device. So, in order to show this, I've set up um, a Mac with the Chamulus client to connect to server. And I also have uh, set up a PC where I, c where I can hook up um, to the server. And you will see, uh, when I hook up the PC, the amount of network information that's being transferred to the Mac back and forth will not change. So, um, let me first hook up uh, from the PC side. So um, here we are. Uh, this is my PC, okay? And I can usually go, say, connect, show over JS. So let's go for uh, 777. Should list my server here. Germany, Frankfurt. There we, there we are. So now we are connected, okay? Um, and we can see in the uh, resource monitor from Windows how many packets are, be are being sent? So or bytes, these are basically bytes. You can see around 36,000, okay? So this is what he sends and what he receives um, uh, from, from a channelist perspective. So we don't send anything at the moment because this is not doing anything, okay? So now looking at the Mac, uh, I can also hook up to the server. There we are. And um, now we can see in the activity monitor that it will show something. So like 900, 1680 um, packets per second, right? So if I now go out um, of the PC, uh, from the PC session, I can basically go and um, disconnect, okay? Uh, this shouldn't change. So if we, if we disconnect here, bam, we will still see the same amount of packets, so there's no packet lo um, loss or, or something happening here. Uh, so you can basically be confident with, with Chamulus to always send kind of the same um, information to the server, no matter how many clients are connected. So and as you can see, uh, when I uh, disconnect, basically everything goes back to almost zero. Um, with Sonobus, this is completely different because you're working peer-to-peer. -peer. So what's happening here is every other musician that joins the channel will add up to your sending bandwidth and to your receiving bandwidth. Um, so to give you a short example, I have prepared the same for Sonobus. So if I fire it up here, um, I can connect to my Jam777 channel. Here we go. Um, I'm the first one being connected. So now let's go to the PC, our remote desktop protocol, fire up Sonobus. There it is. And uh, we, we can connect to the same channel. Okay, here we are. Connect to group, bam. So now I should be able to see the other guy here. Okay, here we are. Um, let's see what happens in my network. You can see something is going on here, okay? If I now launch a second instance of Sonobus on the PC, um, we will see on the Mac another online chamber showing up here, and we will also see that the amount of network traffic will go up on my site, on the Mac, okay? If another person joins. So let's do this real quick. Uh, I've prepared another session in, in Sonobus, so here we are. That's the other one. Press connect here. It's all the same group name. Now it's the dash three at the end. 
connect. Now, if I go back to the instance on the Mac, you will see we have two people, other people connected, the dash two and the dash three. And I'm on the Mac, I'm the dash one, okay? So if we now go back to the uh, network interface, we will see an increase here immediately. So that was with one person, now this is with two persons being connected. Now the problem is, depending on what the other person has basically set as their preferences, um, this can vary. So for example, uh, if you are in Sonobus, you can basically choose your send quality and you will see also the receive quality. So the other guys are sending me PCM16, which is basically uncompressed, uh, which gives you better latency. However, you need 1.7 megabits, so 1,750 kilobits per second, okay? For every stream that you receive, so this adds up. So 1.7 plus 1.7 is 3.4 megabits that I just need for receiving the audio from the other guys. Now sum that up, if, if you are playing with, with 20 or, or 30 guys, it's not possible at all, right? You, you would need uh, uh, a lot of bandwidth to, to perceive this, um, to, to, to receive this stuff. So um, I, I'm sending also, um, let's say, uh, uh, PCM16 out to the one guy and um, a compressed uh, like 128 kilobit per second uh, to the other guy. And you can change it by, by going here and just choosing whatever you want, right? So, bam. If you have this change for all uh, being selected, it should also change for the other guys, so that you basically can send the same quality to each and everybody. But you can see, um, from, from that perspective, it really gets uh, messy with your bandwidth uh, at a certain point in time, because uh, you have to really sum it up and then uh, see wh what is your line giving you, right? So, if you, for example, if you're using uh, digital dis subscriber line, DSL, okay, um, and you have like uh, 16 megabits uh, downstream and you have one megabit upstream um, and you're, you're sending PCM16, it doesn't work, right? If you're sending two times um, 128, you can see it will still work, but or you've almost um, used up all your uh, bandwidth. If you do a, a third stream or fourth stream, it, it will not work in Sonobus, okay? So um, unless you have a, a, a big internet line, Sonobus is not going to work for you, okay? Uh, however, you can, you can also go down, like, down to 16 kilobit, but then, you know, the experience and the sound um, is not that, that good, right? So in the end, um, I found out over, over this corona year that using Chamelos uh, with um, you know, 30, 40 people is still going to work because, I mean, the amount of traffic being sent to the server and received is still the same, right? Uh, Sonobos is fine for, for a little champ with five to seven pe people depending on your um, re receive and up upstream bandwidth, okay? Um, and then uh, doing more usually ends up uh, in, in a big mess. Um, so this is to show you that it really all depends on, on your internet line, and I hope this was um, use useful for you guys. So see you in another video, and take care.